Well, hey out there, all you viewers to play later. How are we doing today? All right, I've got a strange one for you here today. I really, truly do. This one product I have seen so much hatred on from other miniature painting channels and some other stuff. I'll admit, when I got my first one, I went, what the hell is this? And then I took a chance, ordered a second, and went, okay. So we got the Citadel Color, what are they calling this thing? The Painting Handle XL. That's what made me grab it right away. That. Okay. Now, here it is in all of its glory. I don't get why some people are giving this a lot of crap. Now, granted, I'm really, really old school when I paint miniatures. I mean, seriously. I'm constantly holding it like this, moving it around, trying not to touch the miniature, you know, for oils in your skin, intermixing with the paint and that kind of stuff. But I have seen so many people give this thing a ration of crap, especially me, when I got my very first one. Here it is. Okay. It could hold... No, let's see. Let's get you in here. Could hold the standard Marine. No problem. And were we able to do bigger bases on this guy? Yeah, no. Not really. So basically, you can only hold a standard Marine. I mean, I can't even get a Terminator base in there. But what struck me as funny was Games Workshop had a bigger, fatter one of these that you could hold um, bigger stuff on. Okay, People were just railing against this thing like you wouldn't even believe, but yet they were using dowels and blue tack and putting your miniatures on there and using basically a paint stand. All right. I saw this and I went, wow, that's a big guy. I like the fact that if you're turning it that way, you can look at getting bikes in there. And the thing that struck me as incredible was... Hold on, let me get you in here. My Leviathan Siege Dreadnought. Now, I thought that was awesome. Okay? You know, just being able to move it around. It's got a really, really secure grip on that. To be able to get into some hard-to-reach places, I thought was interesting. Now, <laughs> have I used it a lot since I've gotten it? No. Because, like I said, I'm so old school, I'm so set in certain ways, it's not even funny, but I'm getting outside of my comfort zone to do other things. Now, like I said, on the back here, I, I do like how they have that on there so you can add on some of the other things from Games Workshop onto the side. So you're working on a complete miniature at once if you're breaking it down into sub-assemblies, which I have yet to do, which maybe one day I really, really, truly need to do that. And of course, like an idiot, hold on, let's just get all the important stuff out of the way, right? And of course I say like an idiot because, well, I forgot to have this up. I know, I know, big shock for some of you who've been watching my channel, but still. Okay, so as of filming this video on Thursday, October 6, 2022, this big guy right here, which is what I'm talking about, is currently $17.99 on Amazon. It is Prime same day eligible. Now I'm going to tell you just like this, be careful the same day because they're going to charge you some shipping on that and sometimes you're going to get it really, really, really late in the day no matter when you order it. I do see uses for this, especially for bigger bases. So it doesn't feel like you're fumbling and bumbling and stumbling all over the miniature and possibly drop it and do things. I get that. I think that's really, really, really cool. Um, I do like the fact that <laughs> I can fit a Terminator in there. And yeah, it's my Tartarus Terminator with... Oh yeah, I made that one with lightning claws. But still. I, that's just my look at that. Because I'm like, I don't get how this thing is getting so much hate from top-level YouTube channels that are miniature painters that hate this, but stick everything on wood dowels. I, I don't get that. But like I said, I'm old. Painters are interesting because we have our own set ways to do things, and we love to borrow ideas from everybody else. You know, um... Heck, what is it? 
for my Space Wolf Terminators. I had to big borrow Light Sheet and Steel to really get that gray down. And if I do this right, hopefully I'll have a painting tutorial coming out soon on my Space Wolf's gray for the Horus Heresy. Hopefully you can see that. I really like how the brass work turned out and some other stuff. I don't know, but that's one of the things I love about this day and age where, yes, I know, I'm old. Way back when we didn't have the internet, we couldn't hop on there and figure out tools and go, okay, well, who's doing a painting video on dry brushing? Who's doing a painting video on layering? You know, we didn't have contrast paints way back when. But still, I don't know, I, I see value in it. I will be using it for much bigger vehicles, like I said. The Leviathan Dread, because I'll be honest, it gets a little tiring doing this all day long. Trying to hold it and move it and do whatever. Having a one stand that seems to be a little bit more ergonomically cool for your fist might reduce some stress and problems and other stuff. But still, we're at the part of the video I love the most, okay? I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Have you used these painting handles before? What are your feelings on them? I mean... I, I really want to know, because like I said, I'm five months into this journey back into it, and I'm really ramping up some certain things. I basically have a full 3,000-point Space Wolf 40K army painted, and I'm working on the Horus Heresy. Granted, I'm taking my time with that because I really want to put a lot of detail in there, and I'm trying neat little things like I borrowed from the TV show Vikings for war paint ideas. If you've seen the episodes, you know what I'm talking about. Like the Siege on Cadigate, you know what I'm talking about. But still, like I said, I, I want to know your thoughts on these painting handles. Because this one, I, okay, great. Perfect for small base miniatures. I just, like I said, I'm really old school, so I've been doing that forever and a day. I'm getting used to this. Okay, but you know, still. All right, now, if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, and I know this video kind of got off the rails, <laughs> with me, that's no real shock, all right? But still, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, please give me one of those, a big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. My quick, definitely interesting look at the Games Workshop Citadel Color Painting Handle XL. I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope you're having a safe day, a great day, and I hope one day to see you across the tabletop.